those nice shiny windows. Okay, apparently even Pops is out of his rocking chair now and having a look. Oh, that's funny. He wants to see what's going on. Hey everybody, welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. Okay, as promised, I've been working on this playground off camera. And it <laughs> this job takes a while. But it pays $500, which is... Not enough, but it's one, but it's one of the bigger jobs. So I got Mr. Dinosaur done here. Look how, look at those graphics. That looks really awesome. I mean, this, the game's graphics are really, really nice. So we we're at 96%. Uh, if we hit our tab key, not tab key, sorry. If we hit escape key, it tells us what we have left to do. We're at 91%. We have one tower to finish and one roof to finish. And this job will be done. We're $795. So I'm going to get this finished up. And we have our little list over there on the side, on the top left. Now one thing I noticed as I was cleaning, uh, they're shortcut keys, which is really cool. And I just didn't pay enough attention to the controls when I started playing this game. But let me show you those. So if you hold down 1, we get to use our extensions quick. The uh, Add the extensions quickly, rather. So we got the short extension add that on we can go long extension so that's pretty cool just a little shortcut and if we hold down number two on our keyboard we can change our nozzles and it tells us the uh, the degree these two are zero this one spins it's just a zero degree this is 15 25 40 and our soap dispenser so that's pretty cool too that's number two and if you hold down number three that's how we pick our liquids so I only have multi-purpose stone and plastic at the moment and this one's out so I haven't bought these to fill this up, up up here anyway so those are just quick short keys one two and three and I've got in the habit of using those especially with my extensions it's pretty handy okay let's get this job finished up and then we will move on so I think we just have to finish up this area up here Let's grab our ladder here, F to pick up, and we'll just probably start from the top here. Get this job finished up. And we've got another big job to do coming up next. So what I'm going to do we should have enough money. I'm going to finish this job. After we finish this job, we should have enough money. And I'm going to buy the next step up in power washing. Let's see. Let's hold down one. Let's throw on our long extension. Not sure if it makes a whole lot of difference. But to get these... Get this way up here. I mean, we can just climb up on the roof. But this, this one's pretty steep. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to stand up there or not. All right, so one again, we'll go back to just the normal. So that's really handy. The other way to get there is hold, hit E, and that's your current loadout. Uh, but that takes a little longer. So I, I really like those quick keys. I'm glad that I found those. And again, it was in the control diagram. I just didn't look at it close enough. All right, can I just... I think I can climb up on that roof. Yeah, there we go. Just not sure if we can stay up here or not. We may just have to go to the other side. Fortunately, there is not fall damage in this game, so that's nice. We might be able to get it up here. Get it all from this side. Okay, so it does not count the roof being done until we get underneath. So that's why it's not showing it to be complete. Now, to get up there, we're probably going to have to go up 
Let's climb the rope here. And we'll get the underside of this roof. This is such a calm, relaxing game. Nice change, not having something trying to kill you or eat you all the time. Kind of a nice change. Alright, let's get the inside of this part here. This is still considered the roof. I'm hitting R to change the... to rotate the nozzle. I've had a couple of my viewers tell me that they could turn this this game on and just relax and almost put them to sleep. All right, we'll finish up this, and that should get us the roof. Oh, that's part of the tower. All right, what am I missing on the roof? Oh, that's tower. I gotta get some of this side stuff, maybe. Oh, here we go. Oh, this whole side here I missed. That makes more sense now. There we go. Now the roof's done. So all we have left is this tower now. We're close. Nice. Okay. Super job on the playground. Dirt finder. Looking at it now, I'll admit there may have been the odd fleck of dirt here and there. And aren't there just so many colors? Well, it didn't let me finish reading it. It goes too fast. <laughs> but we we can uh, we can read it, I think, when the job is complete. So check this out. This looks really nice. I mean, it's just such br bright, vibrant colors. I love the way this turned out. And that's one thing this game does give you. It gives you... Uh, a sense of satisfaction and completion to the sunshine off that plastic that's really nice very co colorful very nice Dino looks happy I don't think we can slide any faster now that he's clean nope just the same old slow slide well maybe a little faster I don't know who knows maybe that maybe they'll do something about that one of these days and we can actually slide down there faster Alright, let's get out of this. Hit escape. Look how dirty it was. This gives us a little recap in super fast mode. Very cool. Here we go. Super job on the playground, Dirt Finder. Looking at it now, I'll admit there may have been the odd fleck of dirt here and there. And aren't there just so many colors in this world? Too many, perhaps. Anyway, you've got these you got those beating those bleeding worry warts off my back and for that I cannot thank you enough well you're welcome we get a five star rating and we get five hundred dollars that put us up to a thousand alright so now we have two new jobs we got the bungalow which is five hundred fifty job five hundred fifty dollar job and we've got the detached house which is six hundred fifty dollar job these are both gonna be, be big jobs so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy the next level power washer. We've got a thousand dollars in the bank, and we go up to a medium duty. This one's nine hundred dollars. That's going to take all of our money, but I'm going to do it. Let's see. The info tells us 
we have let me go back so I can show you guys if we click on info here we have just a couple of notches here under oily ingrained and stubborn if we go to the next step up well we still only have two ticks on oily and ingrained but the stubborn picks up and the tough anyway it's just it's a medium duty power washer so I'm, I'm anxious to see if we can really tell the difference or not so we, we're gonna buy it knocks us down to a hundred bucks uh, let's see what is that one called now that I bought it the urban X u2 so if we go to our equipment so the the extensions well we don't even have enough to buy the soap nozzle or any of the extensions either so we have to make some money before we can buy any, any uh, extensions but that's okay all right so let's go back to career mode and let's see the bungalow or the detached house let's go with this one this one pays a hundred dollars more so they're probably gonna be about the same job hey doc you know I mentioned to my folks well I think it's time their bungalow met your pressure washer it's so filthy it's hard to tell where the ground ends and the house begins that's bad when I mentioned you to Ma, her eyes lit up pops moaned and said the brown of the porch the warmer the torch <laughs> <laughs> which clearly means nothing so he's overruled <laughs> if you can give this plate the place a good cleanup I'm sure it'd give them both a lift thanks again Cal all right so let's start this job <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be just nasty and it is okay we got a little van <laughs> we got our van parked over here all right well where do we start? It's so bad. Now I've seen some moldy houses, but holy cow. Alright, well, we've got a new power washer. Let's see, it doesn't automatically equip it, so let's hit E and let's go to power washer. Select the urban. And we have just our normal nozzle. Alright, so this one definitely looks different. I'm so glad you're here. Calvin's such a good boy. He's a volcanologist, you know. I don't know what that is. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get away with using the green. So again, I'm going to be really curious to see if we can tell the difference or not in this power washer. Seems like the green, the green is doing more than it did with the other power washer. This green nozzle, if I'm saying. I like how it bounces. Look at it. it's bouncing it like in our hand, like it just has more power. Let's go back to the yellow nozzle. Well, I don't know, we might be able to get away with the green. It's it's a wider area. It does a wider area. And I, maybe with this maybe with this washer we can get away with it. I don't really know. Honestly, I was expecting a little more for $900. Um, maybe it does better with the extensions. See, I'm still missing some there. I don't know how... I don't know how Cal let it get to this point, but it's pretty bad. How is that not dinging for us, this piece right here? There's 
This should be a separate section, I would think. Typically it is. Maybe it's all connected. But that would be consistent with what they did on the other houses. Alright, let's check this side over here. Or the other house. I've only done one other house. So now they're saying this whole driveway. Yeah, they're considering this. If you look at the top left, they're considering this and all of this is the driveway. Even this. Okay, so they're considering all of this the driveway. Alright. I'm just trying to figure out what they're doing here. Because the last house we did, this this whole thing here was considered was a different piece. If that makes sense. There we go. So that dinged. So that was just the driveway. Okay. Now it's the gutter. All the gutters, or are they all separate? Looks like all the guttering is going to be together. Again, I'm just trying to figure out how they set this up. Well, no, maybe not. we probably have to where's our ladder there's a ladder we probably have to get the the top of the gutter we do she's nasty There we go. Okay. Alright, so now we know. So each gutter is going to be separate. I don't even know how the best way, best way to do a house like this. To do each thing separately. Now, the cool thing about this game is... One of the cool things, money-wise, as you can see... There, at the top left, we're at $130. We started, we started, we had $130. We had $100. Now we have $130. So as we do each section, we're awarded money when we get, you know, certain sections done. So the cool thing about that is we could add, you know, we could make enough money to add the soap dispenser for this if we wanted to. You know, as we go along. That gutter doesn't even look dirty. It does down here. Alright, let's grab our ladder. The inside's definitely dirty. So my point is, when we get this gutter done, or, yeah, when we get this gutter done, it should give us some more money just by completing this one section. See so if we can do this without falling off. 
Nope. <laughs> okay. Come on. It's kind of hard to get this the inside of these gutters here, actually. There we go. So it gave us ten dollars for completing that gutter section. So that was my whole point. It'll we can make a little money as we go, and we can buy the tools, the extra tools that we needed. It. So let's go back to our first power washer. I'm just trying to compare the two. Let's do this wall here. We'll stay in the same spot. Hit E, go back to the new one. Okay, I can tell, yeah, I can definitely tell the difference now. I hope you guys can. It's blasting harder. We haven't moved from our spot. There's the garage door done. Trim. Yeah, so I can definitely tell the difference. We'll do that test one more time when we get to a totally dirty section. All right, I'm gonna save that roof. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go. Let's go to the the first one. It's kind of a soft spray. Well, what we thought used to be really powerful, now. Seems a bit timid. I'll be quiet and you, you can hear the difference when we switch. Hit A again. You can just hear the. It's more powerful. Okay, I'm sold. I wasn't sure there was a big difference, but now I feel like there is. Alright, that makes me happier. That I spent my $900 wisely. What are we missing on this window? There we go. So, once again... The, dev, the devs have not disappointed me. They definitely made a difference in the power washers. I had my concerns. But now I feel like they, they've done an awesome job once again. So that's why I wanted to buy this power, the, the bigger power washer. Because I wanted to make this job a whole lot easier. That is caked on mud there. That's not dirt, that's mud. Alright, let's go get our ladder out of the way. Oh, okay. I guess you can't just drop it on the floor. Or the ground. Nope, can't. Alright, let's put it over here where we've already washed and get it out of the way. Now I'm surprised the homeowner hasn't popped in again. And they pop in randomly, tell jokes or something like that. It's kind of cool. Kind of breaks up the the game a little bit. I 
Alright, got those stairs. Yeah, I I can definitely tell the difference and now I feel like this this job isn't quite as daunting as I thought it was gonna be. Now we're only at twenty five percent. But I think it'll go pretty quick. Alright, let's do the bottom first. And just so you know, if you guys are interested in this game, they have... They come out with different modes, like challenge modes, where... I think one of them is the amount of water you use. You can only use a certain amount of water. So you get the job done. I haven't tried any of them yet. Because I don't want to worry about my water. Let's get this side of the roof over here. But that's one of the challenge modes. Uh, another one is how quickly you get it done. You know, it's timed. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, and again, I'm not. I don't. I'm not crazy about trying one of those right now because I like just taking my time and. I mean, I want to get it done, but. I don't want to feel like I'm rushed. One of the reasons why I like this game is it's relaxing. You take your time and, and enjoy it. Alright, we got the, pretty much got the top done. Top of that roof. So the first thing I will buy definitely is the extensions. I, I have found value in those now. Whereas when I first bought them, I didn't. But I did not really give it a fair evaluation. So now I feel like there's value in them. Fact, let's look. Go to the shop. And... The short one is $125, the long one is $250. So, we could buy the short one. I'm going to wait and buy them both at the same time. I think. I would probably... Probably buy the long one first. Just for situations like this. All right. Very nice. We're on to the back side already. So we're at 38%. There's Calvin popping up. Ma keeps messaging me. They're getting really excited with how it's looking. Sounds like it's going great. Oh, this must be the sun. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad they're excited about it. I mean, yeah. How could you not be excited about it, considering what this looked like when we started? So that's what I was talking about. Little messages pop up like that, just to break it up a little bit. It's kind of cool. I think it needs to get Calvin over here and mow the yard. I'll go different directions, just to kind of break it up. We're up to $225. But I like the way they did that, because... Again, you can buy equipment when you need it, rather than just paying the whole lump sum when you're, you know, at the end. So that was that was creative. That was nice. Whichever developer had that idea, he did good in my book. Yeah, porch fence. That's probably going to be both sides of this. I'm assuming. Oh wow, they did break it up, okay. Oh, porch post, okay. So they're calling this the fence. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. It's like, what am I missing on that? Alright. 
right window frame. Alright, what am I missing on this porch fence here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, we're getting close. Let's go ahead and get this underneath here. I mean, we're getting close to the backside being done. Just got a ways to go. Okay, let's get this bottom bricks. There we go. Those nice shiny windows. Okay, apparently even Pops is out of his rocking chair now and having a look. Oh, that's funny. He wants to see what's going on. That's a nice little touch, I like that. Well, Pops never should let it get to this point. Okay, there's the post. What am I missing on the gutter? It must be... Okay, it's gotta be that top part. So we'll get our ladder. Man, okay. We don't put it, put it right, right spot. It'll put it back where it was. There we go. Yep, it's the top part. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and get this porch roof. Come on. Yeah, let's get this while we're up here. Ooh, it's nasty. Look at that. Nasty mold. What it looks like. Let's go ahead and get the disc gutter while we're up here. There we go. All right, nice. All right, let's climb down and let's see. We got all the back done here. Let's go ahead and get this side. And we'll start at the bottom of the bricks. Very nice. All right, we are at 75%. Post cleaned. I think really all we have left is the roof. So let's get the backside first because that's where our ladder's at. Top of this is just nasty. Nice view up here. Yeah, I like it. Not a lot in the background, but I mean it, it's it's nice. I like it. Okay, so this is where the extension would come in handy. Okay, that chimney's a different section. And I know it's a different section because I'm looking over here at my top left. So it says chimney. So I know I've mentioned this before, but it's nice. It tells you what section you're working on. So when you really need to narrow it down. Look at that green mold. Ooh. I think it's mold. That's what it looks like to me. Well, you're at 80%. Alright, we should be okay with that little stuff there. I 
could not be walking around this roof in real life. I am not a height guy. I can climb up the ladder and get on it. Get on the roof. It's the coming back down that I have issues with. So I'll just stick to this game for my heights. Okay, so it looks like the roof is all one section. Bungalow roof. Which I kind of wish they would break this into sections. But it's alright. Like back roof, front roof. Something like that. But that's okay. Get this chimney knocked out. There we go. Alright, that side should be sufficient. A few places here and there, but that shouldn't matter. I'm hitting the tab key. Shows where the dirt is left over. Or what's left of the dirt, I should say. Okay. You can get away with leaving a few spots here and there. It doesn't... won't matter. The overall job being done. Get that nasty bird poop off of there. So we're at 95%. I'm curious when it gives us the little list over there in the top left what we have left to do I think this roof is all we have left to do now we're at 96% so at what percentage point does it give you and it may not it may not give me one because all we have left is this roof it may only give you one if you have three things left yeah we're at 98% 99 So it doesn't appear we're going to get a list. But that would be a little silly to do one when this is all we have left. Hey! Okay. Alright, so. What are we missing? Let's hit. Hit escape. Uh, the brick's 98%. We're missing one door frame. And... One window frame. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. Yep. Okay. Now. Okay, one brick. And one door frame. And one... Still almost two window frames, okay. Well, there's only two doors. Okay, so it's not that. It's been something we missed on front. Okay, here's the bricks we missed. Yeah. Window frame here. Okay. Now, what else we have? One door frame. Post. And one window frame. One wall. Okay. Okay, there's a door frame. That didn't take long. One post and one wall. Okay, that wall is going to be a booger. It's going to be one of these small walls. Okay, now we got our to-do list. Porch, wall, and window frame. Ok, 
Okay, there's a porch, a wall, and a window frame. Maybe it's this wall. It is this wall, okay. And I can tell because the top left. Oh, up there. I bet. I need my ladder. So how I could narrow it down is when you're looking at it, see that top left where it says wall? Right up there. Okay. Now, window frame. So we should be able to just point at it. Yep, right there. See the top left? It's still white. So we missed something on this. Got to be something really small. Right there. There we go. All right. All right, it'll let me read that. Let's hit escape. Wow, okay, so that was a big job. But the the new power washer definitely helped us. The bungalow looks amazing, Doc. Thank you. You won't believe the impact it's had. Ma's down the Ma's down the woods picking flowers and Pops is muttering excitedly about another job he's got for you. So if you hear from a Leonard Miller, that'll be him. Nice, we'll get another job from him. Cool. Alright, so we're up to $650. We started with 100 Clean the detached house. That's going to be our next job. Alright, so this was cool. Uh, this, Yeah, this was a big job. But I enjoyed it. So, uh, I definitely, definitely think now that buying the new washer... The industrial, what's it called? What do they call this thing? Let's see, we can go to our. The Urban X U2. That was definitely worth buying, in my opinion. We're back up to $650, so we can buy our attachments now. In fact, let's go to the shop and go to equipment. And I want to buy. I definitely want to buy the long extension and let's go ahead and buy the short one as well and we'll have to make some more money to get the soap dispenser but I'm okay with that for now so hey guys if you like this episode make sure to hit that thumbs up button the next the next job we have let's see we've got all these completed looks like the only next the only new job we have is this detached house so probably in the middle of cleaning this one we'll probably get another job pop up pop up but we'll do that in the next episode so again if you like this episode hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button i do appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes and come back and see me for more episodes of power wash simulator thanks for watching bye for now